Ace Vertigo, the most T-sided map ever in CS2. The B-side on Vertigo presents a unique challenge for defenders. Typically guarded by one anchor and a rotator, who also has to cover mid. This site's very open nature and multitude of entry points make it a nightmare to defend against a well-coordinated team. After watching this video, your attacks on the B side will be way more successful. You will learn about the various angles of entry, cross placement tips, different CD positions, and how to consistently do the run boost. In this video, you will also learn absolutely lethal and precise but flexible utility lineups that will render your opponents helpless. We will also learn about post plant positioning and some general tips. So let's get started. Usually, the point of contact is going to be right here. These are some usual behavior of CTs which you should know. They might just get on top here and watch you cross or throw a grenade like this and spam you to the wood. Perhaps they'll do a better job at spamming. The most common thing an anchor might do is just molly the stairs and throw a flash like this if he wants to get aggressive. In order to counter such a behavior, you should always throw this flash to peak stairs. It limits the CD options and allows you to take control of a vital part of the map. In order to boost towards wood, your teammate should crouch at the left outer part of the plank. If you sneak in successfully, shift walk to the elevated floor to not make any sound. Tell your teammate to stand around this position and then simply you can jump on top of him and then jump here. The run boost is actually very easy, risky and obviously fun to do. This is the fastest way to do it. It will allow you to surprise your enemies, but do not try to do this every round. So let's learn it now. The person boosting you should quickly come to the part where this shadow meets the light right around here. You don't have to be pixel perfect. The person boosting should focus on the jump while looking here and start moving backwards when the boosted person lands on his head. The reason you aim there is because you want to move the center part here. This will make the movement easier for the person getting boosted. The positioning can be quite varied, but my approach can help with the protocol, which can easily be replicated consistently 100% of the time. After jumping, make sure you don't press the W key and just strafe right and press D. Align your crosshair like this to perfectly peak second. There are mid avenues as well, of course, but for this video, I'll be focusing on main. The most common problem people have are with flashbangs. Proper flashbangs can effectively lead you to free rounds. Throwing your flash over these two entities will protect your teammates. Use this box on stairs as a reference. The closer you are to the site near the box, aim at the lower part of the pillar. And as you move away from the site, aim at the upper part of the pillar. This will help you save time and is a flexible, ubiquitous approach. This is going to blind almost every position on the site. Right over here. Also connector or drop. Right next to cooler or generator. Another way to throw the flash over the second thing, you should remember this line and go a little bit up from the yellow line and you'll always pop your flash right over here. It's going to blind anyone playing close and almost every angle on the site. The good thing about this flashbang is that it's not visible and it's much more harder to react against. Obviously, it's going to also blind these positions. And if you have sneaked yourself in somehow here, you can right click aiming right over here and just do a simple jump throw. This flash is gonna pop right over here. Although you make a sound while jumping, but that is what gets the attention of your enemies. If you want to molly 
headshot or ninja you can molly like this some people even call this white there's another way of doing the same thing so you can team up with your teammate so you just come over here line up with this mark on the ground find this line like this go a little bit left and you'll find this point right over here and it is going to bounce from the pillar right above you and do a lofty almost half damage so you can pair this up with your teammate in fact you can even throw a molotov with the same lineup or a flashbang to make the flash bounce behind the white thing in order to molly quad which is the same like this shift walk till you reach the end of the yellow thing and then just let go there is a little room for error so even if you mess it up maybe not that much you're still going to get it and this is a very powerful position and you should always if you're seeing like the team you're playing against they are quite oftenly playing over there this is something you should do definitely next up if you want to molly second just same like this and do a simple left click throw this is going to molly second And there is a flexible way of mauling every position or throwing a lot of the grenades. So if you come just right like this, align yourself like this and you can be anywhere. And if you follow one simple rule, that is this line, and you aim a little bit up, your utility is always going to bounce from the lower part of the pillar. So it's going to drop down to the ground. So you just jump throw and you can throw utility as you like anywhere provided you know the trigonometry of how things are going to land so this is a much more flexible way let's say your team tells you that there's someone definitely ninja or white then you can team up your nade utility like this let's say you want to throw a lot of utility from the same spot you want to come in this corner aim like this crouch and then stand up do a simple left click throw this is going to smoke off jenny from the right side and again we are going to follow the same rule aim a little bit above this line and do a simple double click jump throw and aim over here do a simple left click molotov and this is going to give your team a very good attacking base let's say you want to be lurking so you come right over here you aim like this and then crouch let's just do a simple jump throw this is again going to land on the right side of the jenny and if you aim at the third spot over here and do a double tap jump throw this is going to help your team get out of main this is very good because since you're lurking you don't want to save your utility as you're lurking be careful because the other team might come to clear you expecting a lurk so once all of their team is spotted in the retake, you can obviously go down here. There's a common mistake many people do, which is they try to crouch and they still don't drop silently. You can literally just shift walk on this VLC looking media players right over here. So let's talk about cross hair placement as you're entering the site. So let's say you have a utility being placed like this. Maybe a flashbang is popping right behind white. So a common mistake which I see people doing is let's say you align yourself like this you know this is the headshot level right and what they'll do let's say they're expecting someone to be here who's going to pick them with the flash so they're just going to hold their crosshair here but you should understand the closer someone is to you the wider their peak is going to appear to you it's simple trigonometry the closer the object to you is the faster it will appear to move so having your crosshair aligned right over here is going to be a better choice also when you're having this smoke and this molly right over here again when you're moving up from here as you feel like they are playing post plant a lot you should spam the right side of the smoke and try to take this position because this is a very advantageous position for you you see them first you can alternate head angles you can change your head shot height and over here if someone is coming they appear like sitting ducks to you so again 
very powerful position you should take is right over here next to the cooler generator and since you're very close to the generator if they're full white swinging they'll see you first this is why it is important for your teammate to keep picking like this and play proactively so they can give you information and you can swing according to that another way if you have some utility just left click throw like this and this molotov is really powerful for a post plant it limits all the options remaining to the city the only way they can come over here is like this and they become a sitting duck to your target so i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned this is going to make your takes way much easier for vertical b sites if you want to learn more videos like this you can surely check out my channel i have a lot of tutorials on jumps and how to play certain sites so subscribe and watch out for more